Hello and welcome, I'm Paterno S. Makel and this is your Noon Time Wrap. Former presidential candidate Roy Senieres dies. He was 68. This comes a few days after withdrawing from the presidential race upon advice of his doctors to avoid stress. He died of a heart attack. Senieres is a former ambassador to the United Arab Emirates. He also vowed to push stronger measures against contractualization, saying it is, quote, against the constitution. At least 13 Filipinos die in a hotel fire in Iraq. Six others are also confirmed dead in the blaze that happened Friday. All Filipino victims are females and employees of the Four Star Capital Hotel. Initial investigations show an electrical problem caused the blaze. The Philippine government is arranging the repatriation of the victims' remains. North Korea launched a long-range rocket Sunday, sparking condemnation worldwide weeks after it carried out its fourth nuclear test. The United States calls the launch destabilizing and provocative, while Japan slams it as absolutely intolerable. Australia also urges a strong response against the launch, while the North Atlantic Treaty Organization says it was a blatant breach of five United Nations resolutions. Even North Korea's ally China backs the United Nations' call for significant measures. North Korean officials insist the launch is part of their space exploration program, but critics say it's a disguised ballistic missile test. And that's the Noontime Wrap. I'm Paterno Esmakel. Join us again at 6pm for today's top news.